वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री पॉइंट नाइन सो द स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डायग्राम फॉर इलास्टिक फाइबर दैट मेक अप ह्यूमन स्किल ह्यूमन स्किन एंड मसल इज शोन डिटरमाइन द मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ फाइबर एंड एस्टिमेट मॉडुलस ऑफ टफनेस एंड मॉडुलस ऑफ रिजिलियन सो इन गिवन डेटा वी हैव स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डायग्राम ऑफ इलास्टिक फाइबर यू कैन सी हेयर वट वी हैव टू फाइंड इज मॉडुलस ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी ई modulus of resilience ur and modulus of toughness ut so this is the stress strain diagram so from the, this you can see that this is the elastic limit and then we have this portion you can see stress at this point is 11 while strain is 2 and here you have a stress of 55 and strain is 2.25 so we will find the uh, first part is modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity so how we will find modulus of elasticity we know that stress is directly proportion to um, strain and from here we will get stress is equal to e into strain and e is modulus of elasticity that is stress over strain and it show the resistance to deformation due that in elastic region clear so we will find e so now from this figure you can see that this is linear portion elastic portion because stress is directly proportion to strain so at this point we have stress is 11 and strain is Two. So we will put this value. E is equal to stress is eleven psi divided by strain is two, and from here you will get five point five psi. So this is the modulus of elasticity. Now we will move toward the second part, and second part is about modulus of resilience. now we will define what is modulus of resilience so modulus of resilience is represented as u r and that can be defined as the uh, total energy per unit volume till point of yield or before yielding so this if you draw this is a right angle triangle clear or you can see that this is the right angle triangle so area under this diagram will give you the total energy per unit volume so i will define it the modulus of resilience is defined as strain energy per unit volume till absorbed till point before a uh, point or till point of yielding is modulus of resilience or strain energy density strain energy density that is absorbed by the material till yielding is known as modulus of resilience and that is given by this area so if this is the right angle triangle clear so the area will be equal to 1 over 2 this is the stress which is 11 and the strain is 2 so when you solve this you will get it 11 psi so this is the modulus of resilience for this material now we'll move toward the third part and third part is about modulus of toughness so modulus of toughness can be defined as strain energy density or strain energy per unit volume is actually strain energy density so strain energy density till point of fraction fracture till point of fracture is known as strain the modulus of toughness and you can see that from this stress strain diagram if i draw it so this will be the total energy that is under the stress strain diagram so this this total energy is that is absorbed by the material per unit volume till point of friction is modulus of toughness and this will be equal to 
if I draw it by using so this will be this area which is a right angle triangle and this one which is trapezium now this area let this area is 1 and this area is a2 so a1 is equal to 1 over 2 into height is 11 and base is 2 while a2 is trapezium so one of its side is 11 and other is side is 55 so it will be equal to 11 plus 55 divided by 2 into this height which is uh, which is 2.25 minus 2 so the sum of these two area a1 and a1 plus a2 will give you modulus of toughness so area a1 is 1 over 2 into 2 multiply by 11 plus area 2 is 55 plus 11 divided by 2 into 2.25 minus 2 2.25 minus 2 so when you solve it you will get modulus of toughness is equal to 19.25 psi so this was all about our problem 3.9 those who are new to my channel then subscribe it because you will learn or you will get more and more videos about mechanics of material by baron johnson and hibler and you can ask the question if you like it you can ask it in comment section thank you